And welcome back. Our next guest has a passion for felines so much that she earned the name Cavicut. That's right, Araldo, here with us to give advice on how to keep your furry four-legged friends healthy and in shape is veterinarian Dr. Elizabeth Bales. And welcome. Hi, Thank Dr. you Bales. so much welcome. for being here. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. So how did you get interested in cat behavior? So I've been a vet for almost 17 years. And as people would come to my office over the years, I really noticed that one of their number one concerns was behavior when it wasn't going well. And in addition, so many of the most common medical conditions that we see actually have a root in misunderstanding the needs of the cat okay. and how their behavior impacts their well-being. Wow, mm -hmm. so, why, so why do cats need to hunt then? So cats are predators. Mm -hmm. They instinctively and metabolically and psychologically are all put together as an incredible hunter machine. Okay. In nature, cats hunt between 10 and 20 times a day wow. Wow. to <laughs> live. If you're living on mice, you uh -huh. need to catch between 8 and 13 times a day to succeed oh in life, <laughs> to live. And most people don't know that. So their whole 24-hour day cycle mm -hmm. is set up around hunting. They, okay. they do sleep a lot. Right. It's normal for them to sleep about 15 or 16 hours a day, but the rest of it, oh, almost much. exclusively, is hunting. Wow. So when we bring them inside, as the American Association of Feline Practitioners recommended the cats be indoor only to be safe from mm -hmm. cars mm -hmm. and, and predators of cats, etc. Right. But when we did that, we forgot that our houses are essentially just giant cages. Right. And right. we need to bring inside for them the things that they need to meet their innate instincts. Mm -hmm. So hunting for them, if you can imagine, it's what you did 80% of your waking hours, right. and now it's just gone. Huh. It's gone. And so I, I liken it to if you're stuck inside in a snowstorm for right. days and days, mm -hmm. you get right. cabin fever. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. So they have this need and no way to express their need in a healthy way. Hmm. So it turns out that they start to do things we don't like, right. like just becoming food obsessed mm -hmm. and obese right. to, to withdrawing and sleeping all day. Right. So is obesity in cats on a rise because they don't have this type of activity that they had in nature? You know, what was organic it to them? It is a great question. So mm -hmm. since we've recommended they be indoor only, obesity has increased 90% in the past 10 years. Oh my God. So is it almost like people feed their families because they love them, that they're feeding That's like it. their, their fur babies like they love them? That's exactly right. Wow. We humans love to love with food. Mm -hmm. right? But when you understand what a cat really needs, mm -hmm. they don't need more food. In fact, we're, we're actually killing them with food. Uh, an obese cat is 2.7 times more likely to die than a healthy weight cat, four mm -hmm. times more likely to develop diabetes. It is really dangerous for a mm -hmm. cat to be obese. Is it more like breed specific as to like what cat should weigh what or is there like an overall like this cat should weigh this weight because like it's a, this. The, the different type of cats you mean? That's like a great question. That's a great question. Cat. So it, it does it is based on their bone structure and mm -hmm. how large they should be um, and it, a, a cat can be healthy at eight pounds if you're that's how right. the way you're made up right. or a cat can be healthy at 15 pounds if that's the way your body's made up. Right. So another great time to say it's a, important to have a good vet, vet visit mm -hmm. because only 10 percent of people with an obese cat mm -hmm know it. Okay. We wow. all think our wow. cats are fine. <laughs> yeah, right. 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 So the vet, the vet actually can do a certain set of measurements that we do with our hands. We're very trained to know, no, to this cat is it. in fact obese and you right. can't just do it can based on weight. Can you feel through the organs? Like, uh, well, feel we're like mostly feeling the amount of, of fat between the ribs and our fingers. Yeah. Okay. And then there's something called a, a pet obesity score where we're looking at a lot of other body okay. structures. Gotcha. Now I see you got a feeding, a feeding system here for the cats, yeah. right? This is what you yeah, created. Yeah, this right? is what I created. Well, so what we tell know, us a little bit more about you know, we it. know the cats are hunters, and I just I focus on the science. Mm -hmm. They need to catch between eight and thirteen mice a day to live. Wow. So their stomach is designed to be this big. That big, right? Because if you can eat, the edible contents of a mouse are this big, wow. not this big. Wow. So when we feed our cats from a bowl, we feed them really tasty food because we want them to eat. Right. And yeah. so they overeat and don't have the, the natural self-regulation mechanisms to right. stop. So there's a couple of things at play here. We know we need portion control. Mm -hmm. right. We know we need exercise. Hunting is their built-in right. exercise. And then we know that they need, as a predator, to enact that predatory instinct right. at mealtime. You know, we say the phrase, a game of cat and mouse, but to a cat, it's not a game. Right. Psychologically, they need to enact that predatory right. instinct at mealtime. Is there a specific time that, that they need to do it for? It's another or? great question. So they're actually 24-hour-a-day creatures, so okay. they will hunt and eat 24 wow. hours a day. <laughs> Does right? the metabolism move that way, too? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know? It should, yeah. if right. things are if going right. Yeah. right. Yeah, so the, the, they need to be able to just 
have the option to use their claws and teeth and right. pounce on their prey at mealtime. Mm. So I would learn all of these things in my pursuit of knowledge about cats and right. then think, but what are we supposed to do? There's no way to carry that out. We all mm. keep going back to the bowl. So I invented the no bowl feeding system. No bowl feeding system. Nice. I yeah. Love that. So does this help the cat, like, to beat obesity in cats? Like, absolutely. By having this particular For all system? those reasons. So we're going to measure the food, and mm -hmm. that's something your vet can help you with too, is to know how much your cat should be eating. Right. And you need to calculate treats and food. Treats have a lot more calories than a regular piece of food. So figure that into your day. Right. Then you're going to measure it. Split it between the five nobles. This is a system. It's not one. Okay. So okay. you're going to split it between the five, there's a, a little procedure we train them onto it, and once they know how to use it, mm -hmm. you hide them. Okay, oh, really? so the cats have to be trained how to use it. So if you're going from, like myself who has a cat, yep. and um, so we have the bowl out at a specific area. Yep. Now, to retrain my cat to find the food, would I have to like show her at first, or how does that's that That's exactly work? right. So, so your cat has been conditioned to eat in a way that's counter to their nature. Interesting. But it's going to take a, just a few simple steps to train them back, and it's so worth it that because it fun. impacts. It's fun <laughs> for you. It's like fun I, I'm ready to use it myself right now. <laughs> exactly. It's, really fun. it's fun for you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's, it's fun for the cat once they get accustomed to, to hunting again. So what you're going to do is measure the dry food, split it between the five, and then hide them. So now your cat is actually using all of their hunting instincts, which is wow. mostly the nose, uh -huh. and they're finding awesome. it. Once they find it, they get to play with it, just like they would play with their prey in nature to dispense that small portion. <laughs> and then they eat that small portion before they either want to sleep, which is totally wow. normal, right. or go hunting again. So we found a way to recreate all the natural feeding behaviors mm -hmm. of cats with the dry food you're feeding now. Wow. Dr. This Bales, is this, is, this is amazing. It Thank is. You. You know, lots of luck with this, and keep us posted, obviously. I will. Thank all you right. so much. Thank all you. All right, guys, still to come. We're already seeing the effect that the Trump administration is having on us. Whether you're marketing, but the recent spat between Nordstrom and Ivanka Trump. So what's next? Marketing expert Tina Wells weighs in to tell us that and more when Healthy Lifestyles with Araldo returns <laughs> in a moment. <laughs> <laughs>